Ladies and gentlemen, John Hammond, Luster Core Engineer at, at Intel. He's going to talk to us about uh, layout enhancement, which is one of the features that OpenSFS has paid good money uh, for a, a design. Uh, John Hammond, you the man. Thank you. I, it's just like right right arrow until I find it? Yeah, All right. There we go. All right. Uh, thank you for uh, having me here to talk about this. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, layout enhancement, which is, as Steve pointed out, a open SFS funded design. Go openness and open SFS. Um, also, the committee uh, said that they wanted talks that were applicable to a wider, more inclusive Luster audience, so I'm happy to say I'm only going to be talking for 15 minutes. Uh, it's, uh, it's a little dry, but let's try it. So I'm going to say what layout is, uh, why we're enhancing it, um, the, the types we're adding, I'm going to talk about composite layouts and layouts for widely striped files. Uh, what is it? It's file striping metadata. So in Lustre, we stripe file data over one or more objects, and we do that for bandwidth and capacity. So it's uh, analogous to RAID 0, but with um, objects instead of disks. Uh, the layout describes this, and it includes things like the stripe size, how much do we write before we go to the next object, or go back to the beginning of the list, the number of objects, the pattern, which to date has always been uh, RAID 0, the name of a storage pool, and then the uh, identifiers for the objects themselves. So this has worked pretty well uh, for us. Um, how do we represent it? Well, it's just a structure with some, some fields. It has a magic, which tells us which, what layout type it is, the pattern, which is read zero, and the, the stuff I mentioned on the last slide. And we store this data as an extended attribute, uh, trusted.lov, of the file on the MDTI node. So it's also something you can get uh, from the file on, the, on, a, on a client mount. And so if you, you, you do git stripe, you're retrieving that, that value and formatting it and printing it. Um, let's see. So the, um, the why, the main why of layout enhancement is uh, to support file level replication, which uh, Jin Chan's going to talk about, I think, um, right after me or right after Mike. Um, so as, as a means of getting to uh, file level replication, so instead of RAID, RAID 0, we have RAID, RAID 10 or something more elaborate, we're going to construct the replicas from existing uh, files, and so we're going to construct a replicated layout from the existing layout formats. So uh, a layout to support replication is uh, a composite or container layout, so to speak, that just holds, you know, unreplicated layouts in, in some uh, order. It also uh, allows us to do something called uh, extent-based layouts. So we could have different layouts and different object sets for different regions of the file. So you have the first megabyte on SSDs, and you have the rest of the file on larger spinning disks, say, if you want it, or however you'd like to, to do it. But that's going to be something that the uh, composite layout format will support. And then it's up to um, another project to implement that. But we're just sort of getting some future proofiness 
uh, now. The other reason uh, I think to enhance layout now is for very widely striped files. Um, eventually, you know, we run into some uh, limitations based on the fact that we're using uh, extended attributes to store and handle uh, layout data. So the um, you know, there, there are various limits on the sizes of an of a extended attribute, but at the highest level, you know, um, at the POSIX level, we have a 64 kilobyte upper limit on the size of an EA. So that means that we are stuck somewhere at around uh, 3,000 stripes. Uh, I don't know if that bugs you or not. Most people probably don't have 3,000 OSTs to carry 3,000 stripes, but uh, uh, other limits like the maximum OST count, 64K right now, uh, that would give you a 1.5 megabyte layout. So uh, I don't think we have to worry about that soon. But. So now a little bit about the, the design itself. Uh, uh, Jinshan made this awesome drawing which um, I really liked. Uh, I, I don't claim that it explains it very well in this context, but it, but it is a very good drawing. Um, so we have a new uh, layout type, uh, LLV Comp MD V1. So this is the, the V1 composite layout type. And it just gives us a simple way of bundling the simple V1 and V3 layouts together. So we say we have this many V1 layouts, each representing a replica of the file, or each representing an extent of the file, or some mixture, and we just describe how they, they live together. Uh, to this, we need uh, operations to add, move, remove, uh, entries from a composite layout, so you think of this as adding or removing replicas from a replicated file. So you beef up the replication or reduce it. Uh, finding the uh, entry or replica that you want, or with some property like finding the um, finding a non-stale replica to satisfy a read, or f finding all the stale replicas so that you can uh, refresh them. And then um, the compact layout for widely striped files. This is, um, I think, an idea that's been around for a while. I first learned about it from a Xyrotex architectural priorities white paper. Um, so this is, the idea here is to have a distinguished uh, set of uh, object IDs um, so that we can just describe um, the uh, the objects belonging to a file by by just specifying a bit mask of um, of OST uh, indexes. So we have uh, in this layout we have uh, stripe count and size as before, and then we have some way of describing the the sequence of uh, of fit sequences, all the objects share a, a, a single OID, and then we have a bitmap of, of OST indices. So instead of um, so instead of 24 uh, bytes per stripe in our layout as we have with LOV, MDS, MD, V1, and V3, we have a single bit per stripe marginal cost. Um, so we pay a little more at, at the at the header. We have about a 72 byte header, uh, but we save you know when we start to scale out. Um, yeah, so working at uh, working in HPC, working at TAC, I felt like every Intel slide deck needed to have a graph with no units on it. You know, so this, so there's the one. <laughs> 